today. On the farm, in the mountains, through the sky to a tune, it's been a great year in Oklahoma. Travel with AAA's Discover Oklahoma. Hi and welcome to AAA's Discover Oklahoma. I'm Jennifer Reynolds. And I'm Dino Lawley. We are coming to you from Vast Restaurant. It's on the 49th floor of the Devon Tower in downtown Oklahoma City, a building that has really taken the Oklahoma City skyline to new heights. It's really beautiful to be driving into the city from any direction and mm -hmm. see the tower sort of keeping watch, so to speak. Now, Vast, the restaurant here, serves world-class American cuisine with a one-of-a-kind view of the capital city. We're not just checking out the view of Oklahoma City this morning, though. We're also taking a look back at the year 2013. And it was a milestone year for Orr Family Farm, which had to weather those horrible May tornadoes, but is now back and better than ever. You guys, uh, West Moore, Southwest Oklahoma City, Moore. Orr Family Farm sits directly in the path of the deadly May 20th tornado. It's amazing that you can go inside a building and five minutes later come out and it looked totally different. Total destruction everywhere. Every building was either completely destroyed or had to be basically rebuilt from ground up. Orr Family Farm had been one of Oklahoma's most successful tourism destinations, a place for kids and parents to play and learn through agritainment. But after the tornado, most of the farm was destroyed or damaged beyond repair. Yeah, we, we shed a lot of tears. And then we were quite amazed by the fact that nine trees, huge trees were uprooted. The building to the south was, uh, the brick had to be taken off of it because it was leaning so badly. That's just 50 feet from the house. The building to the east of it was uh, destroyed totally and yet there wasn't a shingle on the house taken off. After months of loving reconstruction and restoration, Orr Family Farm is back in business and better than ever. We've added uh, a, a more uh, games and we have a fun area. We have these giant chess sets that set up about this, about two foot high or more. Uh, and, and checkers, and uh, we've added, uh, uh, thanks to uh, P&K uh, uh, John Deere, uh, they have donated uh, 10 little tractors for children to ride around, and, uh, and then we're, we'll have a, a, another little maze for the children. We've still got our fall field trips going on and we will be open on the Saturdays in November on the 9th and the 16th. So we'll still be doing our hay rides to the pumpkin patch and all the kids will get free pumpkins. Uh, all of our fall activities, lots of fun festivities. And then in December we have our breakfast with Santa. So that's a lot, a lot of fun for all the kids. Parents and kids come out and have breakfast, a pan pancake breakfast with Santa. For the folks at Orr Family Farm, this is not just a reopening, it's a rebirth. It means the world to us. It's been, um, of course, in the beginning it was devastation, and now I just can't even describe to you the excitement that we've had. It's like a new beginning for us. Or Family Farm has a great website where you can find all the information you'll need to plan anything you want to do there, from a wedding to a field trip, and we'll link you to it from the Discover Oklahoma page at TravelOK.com. I won't say that we got lost, but let's put it this way. I actually needed to shave by the time we got out. We got out of the corn maze. I don't know if we had a harder time or Shell had a harder time climbing the Gloss Mountains. Oh, I love the Gloss Mountains. But you know what? Place. The mountains out there aren't the only thing they have to offer. Check this out. West of Orienta, along U.S. Highway 412 in Major County, the Oklahoma prairies stretch out with broad horizons of possibility. For miles, gentle rises give way to easy slopes until suddenly, there they are. Red mesas cloaked in crystals and sparkling like diamonds jut up from the grasslands just south of the Cimarron River. Saying the name of this series of buttes within earshot of others inevitably ignites an argument 
Are they the Glass Mountains or the Gloss Mountains? The debate started all the way back in 1875 when a map maker made a transcription error, replacing the A with an O and the name stuck. After all, these glistening landmarks are both glassy and glossy. A marker in the state park explains the history of the ongoing confusion. The Gloss Mountains are an easy drive from our house and yet feel like a real destination, like we've ventured into an authentic slice of the American West. Gloss Mountain State Park boasts an info kiosk at the base of Cathedral Mountain and picnic pavilions. But here's the kicker, and the reason this makes the perfect location for introductory family hiking, stairs. That's right, metal great steps zigzag toward the top of this bold mesa. At times it's pretty steep, but we took advantage of the benches perched strategically along the path. Great for catching your breath and catching the view. There are reminders throughout the park that we share this place with snakes, some of them rattlers. We didn't see any slithery friends, but the thought that we might just added to the spirit of adventure. The last 15 feet or so of the trail is tougher to scale. It's rugged and rocky, but there's a handrail for hoisting yourself up. Once atop the butte, the terrain is nearly football field flat, and the sky wraps around you like your favorite hoodie. Marked trails take you on a loop around the top of Cathedral Mountain, but we had a tough time concentrating on the ground because the epic landscape kept tugging at our attention. Our packs held a convenience store picnic and a blanket, and we plopped down in full view of a dramatic ledge. For a meal in which my girls would have happily gobbled up Brussels sprouts because the vistas were the true stars here. We also brought along some dime store kites and the bluff's natural gusts floated our contraptions high above the gypsum crowned mesa. These geological gems all on their own deliver a sense of awe. The hike up them is just physical enough to lend a sense of accomplishment for novice hikers like us. But the real windfall of this outing was the way this lofty vantage point made us feel even more connected to our glimmering home state. And at the same time, most unexpectedly, more connected to each other. At Gloss Mountain State Park near Fairview, I'm Shell Wagner. To plan your trip to northwestern Oklahoma or anywhere in the state, your first step is to go to TravelOK.com. Well, whenever we hit the road in our Ford Explorer, we make sure to have a great playlist ready to go, and Oklahoma has a lot to contribute. We're going to take you to a place where you can learn a lot about a man who has inspired a lot of musicians and artists. The Museum for the Father of American Folk Music coming up when AAA's Discover Oklahoma continues right after this. On the road, one never knows what lies ahead. Indubitably, almost every week, one encounters bad form from Sunday drivers. Sheer rudeness begets the occasional fender bender. Precisely why we have insurance from AAA. Here, here. A name drivers can trust. Especially good ones. Especially great ones. Cheers! Oklahoma every night. My honey lemon I Sit alone and talk. Watch a hop. Making crazy circles in the sky. And though we belong to the land. And the land we belong to is red. Oklahoma, come see for yourself. Until there's an accident rewind button, there's the next best thing, insurance from AAA. Welcome back to AAA's Discover Oklahoma, and I have to tell you, I couldn't be prouder to say that I share my home state with Woody Guthrie. You know, Woody Guthrie probably influenced as many American artists as anybody else, and there's probably nobody out there that tells the story of that Depression era in America any better than he did. And the Woody Guthrie Center in Tulsa brings his story home. Tulsa's Brady Arts District has seen a ton of growth recently, and the Woody Guthrie Center is a huge part of that. Being here and being part of the rejuvenation of the Brady Arts District is just amazing. Um, 
Every time I walk outside, it seems like there's something else that I see that's new. The Philbrook uh, downtown, we've got the Arts and Humanities building right behind us, Guthrie Green across the street. I mean, it's a gorgeous place to be and so much to do. The George Kaiser Family Foundation acquired the Woody Guthrie archives from Guthrie's daughter, Nora. What started out as a collection turned into an inspiring center for people from all over the world to visit. We want them to see Woody's example of how he used his creativity to find his voice, give that voice to those who felt that they were voiceless, power to those who felt that they were powerless, and speak out about his world. And then we want people to take that away from the center and go and create something on their own. At the Woody Guthrie Center, you'll find his original instruments, the original handwritten lyrics of This Land is Your Land, and an art gallery of photographs celebrating the life of Guthrie himself. For Oklahoma and Tulsa, we, we often forget to recognize those people around us, our native sons and daughters who are creative and who have brought recognition to our state worldwide and internationally. And I think this is important that we recognize these folks. In addition to the historical artifacts, the center invites you to check out all of the interactive pieces. Listen to Guthrie's tunes at the music bar, an interactive map, a theater room featuring a short film on Guthrie's life, a lyric writing station, and a section devoted to learning more about the Dust Bowl era. We want you to get in the middle of them, touch of them, play with them, create your own songs, and uh, totally experience what we have to offer. Woody Guthrie continues to inspire people today with his powerful lyrics and creative talent. This center honors his life and legacy. Next time you're in Tulsa, stop by and check it out or attend one of their concert series or educational programs. I don't think Woody would have ever thought that a, a little hometown boy from Okima, Oklahoma would have had someplace like this uh, showing all of his work. From the Woody Guthrie Center in Tulsa's Brady Arts District, I'm Abby Curran. To find out more about the Woody Guthrie Center or to plan your next trip to Tulsa, just go to the Discover Oklahoma page at TravelOK.com. Well, the Christmas shopping season may be over, but that doesn't mean shopping season is over. I think I found out the hard way that, yes, that season is eternal. <laughs> We'll take you to a unique gift shop that blends the taste of a mom and a daughter when AAA's Discover Oklahoma returns right after this. I was sitting behind an SUV at a red stoplight, and I guess the light wasn't turning green, green fast enough for her, so she puts her SUV in reverse and backs right into my new car. I'd called her insurance several times, and they had never heard of her. We recommended that she go ahead and turn the claim in to AAA so that AAA claims adjusters could take care of her. I paid my $500 deductible to get my car fixed, and I didn't ever expect to see that money again. I didn't want her to have to be out $500 because it wasn't her fault. So that was the only question. A lot of times if there is no insurance coverage, it's hard to get the other party to pay up. Two months later, I had a check in the mail from AAA for my $500. So when I had given up on it, they were still fighting to get my money back for me. She said, guess what, I got a check in the mail. That was a good feeling for her and it made me feel good too. They've really shown me that if I ever have a problem that they're gonna, they're gonna help me fix it. Welcome back to AAA's Discover Oklahoma, looking back at some of our favorite stories of the year 2013. And we came across a place in Guthrie that always combines the unique with the unusual. There's a saying from the old television series Twin Peaks that goes, quote, this is a place both wonderful and strange. Well, that's a great way to describe Prairie Gothic. It's one of those stores when you walk in, you'll immediately notice this is going to be a fun and different kind of shopping experience. And the idea for the store pretty much started from a hobby. The concept is, um, it started from me and my mom collecting things and then kind of just combining our aesthetics. Like, um, a lot of people are interested to know that she's more of the Gothic side and I'm more of the Prairie side. So it's just the combination of our tastes. And this store has an eclectic array of items to say the least. And just when you think you might know what you'll see around the corner in the store, I guarantee you'll be surprised. We always talk about maybe the darker side of the prairie. We, that's what we like to think about whenever we think about like how, what we want in the store and the things that we want to have in here. We think like, what would be the darker thing to have? So obviously we have a lot of bones and taxidermy and just stuff like that. And we like um, historical things, all kinds of natural things. And, 
collaboration, I guess. Like, it's just the things we pick up and find, so we just kind of curate a collection. They also sell a lot of soap and local honey, as well as t-shirts and incense. Shirley and her mom are co-owners of the store, and given the eclectic taste of the items, I had to ask if she and her mom ever disagree on what and what not to buy for their customers. We find ourselves in that situation more often than you would think. <laughs> Sometimes, like, she has to stop me from, you know, being obviously too prairie or western or something and then I'll be like no no that's too creepy we can't have that in here no one will like that but the surprising thing is is that even if we don't compromise and we're like I don't care I'm going to do that anyway that people like it so you learn that you know you got to work with people and take their advice. One thing they do agree on is they love being located in Guthrie. And many times when they are picking out merchandise for the store, they wonder if those products could be found in an old fashioned Guthrie general store. And so far the reaction from the customers here, it's been very good. Uh, we've had great feedback. Um, we're kind of surprised at the feedback we've gotten. Like um, a lot of our customers, we repeat customers, which is great. And um, a lot of people just give us great feedback. I'd say like 90% of our feedback is really good. And some people are just like, oh, this is just not for me, which that's fine. And we understand that. And finally, I had to ask Shirley, what was her favorite item in the store? Um, my favorite item. Uh, one of the things that my mom, that was one of the things that I kind of fought my mom on and I wasn't too crazy about to begin with are, are like the taxidermy items. And I, it's kind of gotten hard for me to let them go. Like we have a porcupine that I've named him and I love him. And I'm just like, no, we can't sell David, not David. But um, yeah, I love that. And I, I mean, I love everything. That's why we pick the stuff that we put in here. It's just because we love it. And it, we just, you know, hope that people like it too. It's got all sorts of treasures, whether they're conventional, crazy, or macabre. Treasures that'll make your gift giving really stand out. To find out more about Prairie Gothic in Guthrie, just head on over to the Discover Oklahoma page at TravelOK.com. I gotta tell you, I'm not sure there's a better view anywhere in this state than from here on the 49th floor of the Devon Tower in the vast restaurant. It is just gorgeous. I love it up here. And now I will give you another idea of where we're going with another great view. Great view. How about seeing the Arbuckle Mountains from a zip line? Next, I'll take you with me for one of my more memorable moments of 2013 when AAA's Discover Oklahoma continues. He's been our insurance agent for the last six years, uh, but the year before that, he was the best man at my wedding. Asked him if I could quote his auto insurance, to which he said, yes, but you're going to have to beat the company I've been with for forever in order to get it. I didn't think uh, they'd be able to. So I, I took the opportunity to quote it, and I, and I was able to save him about $600 a year. Man, I was just like, boom shakalaka, like, are you kidding me? He actually said that on the phone, boom shakalaka. You know, saving money with AAA means food on the table for my family. Even after he saved us tons of money, he's looked at our policy over the years and, and helped us make changes to save even more money without us asking. We offer the best of both worlds. Um, we have uh, great cu customer satisfaction through the level of service that we provide uh, and combined with an amazingly low rate. You know, as a parent, as a husband, having insurance, uh, is a safety net because life happens. I know that AAA is going to take care of us. I don't have to worry about it. AAA is going to be there. Levi is going to be there. They're going to take care of our needs. Welcome back. AAA Oklahoma makes this show possible and does a lot of other great things around our state. Here's a look at today's AAA. Hi, Chuck May here with AAA Oklahoma. Watching your teenager get behind the wheel can be pretty scary. With so many dangers on the road, how do you know if they're ready? At AAA, we get how stressful this can be. So we've created a full range of tools to help you through the learning to drive process. First, sign up for our free Start Smart newsletters to teach you and your teen how to reduce risk by working together. Next, check out Take the Wheel, our affordable parent-taught driver's education program that provides everything you need to teach your teen how to drive. 
Plus, it's certified by Oklahoma, so your teen can get that license earlier. If your teen's already driving, our driver safety program, Teen Smart, can make them three times safer on the road. In fact, it's worked so well, we offer up to a 25% savings on their AAA auto insurance for successful completion. Find out more under Teen and Mature Driver Safety in the AAA News and Safety section of AAA.com. AAA for the ones who matter most to you. Well, we've arrived at our final destination of our look back at 2013, and boy, is it a fun one. Down on the Arbuckle Mountains, you can absorb the beautiful view and the fresh air with the Air Donkey Zipline Adventure. And this intrepid man <laughs> tested it for us. <laughs> I got to tell you, it was a lot of fun. It's located in Davis, and the Air Donkey Zipline features six different zip lines and a sky bridge that will take you on a mile long tour of the area. This is my favorite story of 2013. Is it normal to strap yourself onto a cable and slide across at a pretty good clip from one point to another? I don't know if it's normal, but it sure is fun and exhilarating. At the Air Donkey Zip Line in Davis, they have two pretty hard, fast rules. Rule number one is to always pay attention to your guide and during the training to uh, get yourself uh, you know, used to doing it safely. And rule number two is to have as much fun as you possibly can. Now, before anyone can sign up for this very special, amazing bird's eye view of the beautiful Arbuckle Mountains, you'll have to sign a waiver, of course, and then it's safety training. Steve and his crew will patiently walk you through everything. This morning, our guides are Tyler and Steve's wife, Rosalind. Now you want to grab your uh, claws right here. You're going to bring everything through that small loop. Safety is number one. They'll teach you how to brake or even go faster because obviously people of different weights will ride differently. But uh, the heavier people will go faster. This is one of those uh, sports where if you're heavier, sometimes it's better, especially if it's windy. But you have to uh, learn to uh, brake and slow yourself down, which basically we do that just with a gloved hand. Uh, so you have to kind of get used to just how much braking. Ultimately, we'll stop all the riders before they hit the pole. That's my motto. You know, Dino doesn't hit the pole. Um, yes, I wanted to avoid that too. Now, the folks here do like for you to participate and not just sit there. Your first test comes on a bunny slope of sorts, and then it's a quick ride up a hill to start what I referred to as a giant jungle gym in the sky, part ropes course and part circus training in a way. We were all ready for the slow climb up before the very fast trip to that first pole. There's a succession of six lines here, with the longest one being around 1,800 feet. But there's nothing like that rush of excitement when you take off. My fellow zipliners were all having a blast. Now, I've been told before in my life and career to go jump or run off a cliff, but I've never really done it. You see, on this portion of the trip, you are told to run until your feet are completely off the ground and you are literally going off a cliff. In all seriousness, while there is no shortage of adrenaline, there's a peacefulness that came over me as I flew over the Arbuckle Mountains, especially this quarry. And as Steve, who is a former biologist, brought up, you're flying over an amazing history lesson. And one of our zip lines, from the start to the end, you go across 250 million years of geology that's laying on its side. Now, 10 years old is as young as they like to go, and on the upward end of the age, people aged 78 and 83 have ridden and loved it. You also need to be between 80 and 250 pounds. There are people that come here and they, they zip line in other places, Costa Rica, and you know, they, they're uh, all proud of themselves, and I'm glad they did that. But when they get on the top of some of our towers, you, you know, they just, they don't want to go, you know, <laughs> because it just seems different. It seems like you're higher when you're really not, but it's open country. So one thing about it, everyone leaves with a smile on their face. It was a blast. It was a lot of fun. I mean, I, I had a really great time. It was a lot better than being in school. <laughs> it was fun. It was really fun. The Air Donkey Zipline really is a kick with a view. Find out everything you need to know about a visit on the Discover Oklahoma page at TravelOK.com. Glad you came along with us to look back at 2013 and a big thanks to the folks here at Vast Restaurant at the top of the Devon Tower in downtown Oklahoma City for hosting us this week. And we also want to thank you very much for watching us all through 2013. 
Next week, it's a true potpourri for you from a fun artsy playhouse in Edmond to a cool home accessory store in Tulsa to food trucks and fresh air and bamboo in Guthrie. Hope you'll join us. So happy new year to you. And so until next time, remember, there's always something to discover in Oklahoma. And we look forward to doing that with you in 2014. Production vehicle provided by the Oklahoma Ford Dealers, official partner of the Oklahoma Tourism and Recreation Department.